This audio fanfic is rated T, which is the same as a movie rating of PG-13. Parental guidance recommended for all children under 13. This should be suitable for teenagers and adults. For more information on what the rating means, please go to www.esrb.com. Night Warriors, The New Threat, Part 1 it was a beautiful windy night. At his post, at 10 p.m., was Lieutenant Colonel James. James was a well-respected man among his team, the Marines' 5th Infantry Team. He was a great leader and fighter. His team that he led looked up to him as a hero. James, armed with a flashlight, walked around his bouncer making sure that it didn't catch on fire, or female cadets didn't sneak into the male bouncer, because then he'd be in trouble with General Lee. James stopped two feet away from the bouncer's door. James did about face and saw a woman coming towards his bouncer and flashed the light towards her. When she was in plain view, James realized he'd never seen the woman that was walking towards him. He yelled, Halt! The woman stopped about five feet from James. James looked at the woman. Who are you? The woman answered, I am Colonel Ainsland. Morgan. James saluted her. I'm sorry for questioning you, ma'am. Morgan replied, it's okay, Lieutenant Colonel. You're just doing your job. Thank you, ma'am, James answered. Morgan smiled at James. You're also a very strong man. James blushed for a second. I never heard a higher rank call me strong before, ma'am. Morgan replied. You also have beautiful eyes. Lieutenant Colonel? James realized something. Are you hitting on me, ma'am? Morgan walked slowly towards James. <laughs> it took you long enough, Lieutenant Colonel. James started to walk backwards from Morgan. I can't go out with a higher or lower rank than me, ma'am. It's against regulations. They will demote me. Well, it's a risk you have to take. Morgan replied. You're beautiful and all, but I think it won't work out, ma'am. James answered. James turned and started to walk away from Morgan. Morgan turned into her succubus form and flew towards James. James heard something coming towards him, but it was too late. Morgan tackled James to the ground and stuck her fangs into his neck. James felt his life slip away from him. Morgan stopped sucking his blood and got off his back. James had enough strength to roll over and see Morgan in her succubus form. What are you? And what did you do to me? I am the ruler of all the demon world. Or as some of you humans call it, demon realm. And I'm a succubus. Morgan laughed. You didn't answer my question. What did you do to me? James replied. Morgan sat on top of James. I sucked your blood, Lieutenant Colonel. I'm surprised that you're still alive. I am Lieutenant Colonel James J. Grijalva, leader of the 5th Infantry of the United States Marines. It's gonna take more than a woman, or whatever you say you are, to kill me, James replied. Morgan started her finger down his chest. In that case... Morgan cut herself with her nail. Drink my blood and become more than a man. Lieutenant Colonel James looked at her. i rather die than drink your blood. Morgan smiled evilly. <laughs> In this case, you don't have a choice. Morgan looked deeply into James' eyes and forced him under her control. Morgan put her bleeding arm close to his mouth. Drink. James put her arm between his lips, then bit her arm and started to drink her blood. Morgan moaned as he drank, turned on by the way James drank her blood. Morgan was surprised to find a strong man of the human world. Morgan felt weak for a second and made James stop biting her arm. Morgan was so turned on by the way James drank her blood, she had almost forgotten that he was actually drinking her blood. Morgan's cut healed and she put a hand on his cheek. Do you want to know why I didn't just kill you off? 
James didn't answer, and a trance still, Morgan sighed. I didn't kill you off, because I didn't want to waste your strong body. In fact, you're the only strong human I have ever met. He just sat there with a blank face, emotions removed from him. Morgan got off of him and turned her back to him. She looked back at him. Coming? James stood up and walked towards her. Morgan took hold of James and flew up towards the night sky. In the sky, Morgan made a key appear and unlocked the protected gates of the demon realm.